It's so good to be back in the high Rockies of Colorado. We recently had two of our best friends from Breckenridge, Colorado out for a visit, and on a cold, windy morning, we loaded up into the Subi and headed to the Great Sand Dunes National Park. Are we all in? Watch out, watch out! There's a car behind you! He does it. God oh, damn it. <laughs> We drove over an hour to get to the sand dunes from our campsite, and along the way we spotted two golden eagles. The locals said that it means good luck, double good luck for us. It was all of our first times at the Great Sand Dunes. They're the tallest dunes in North America and felt so randomly located below the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. They look like epic mountains of sand, placed there unnaturally, but in fact they are natural. Winds carry sand eastward from the riverbeds, but the Sangre de Cristo Mountains block the wind currents, creating the magnificent sand dunes. The dunes sit on top of an aquifer that extends up to a mile below the valley floor. So when you cross the stream to get to the dunes, you're truly walking on water. Yes, that was awesome. Seems like we were not in Colorado. Yeah, right? Like, and not even at the beach either. Right. Like, it was like being in a... Another really planet. Little, Would you come back? Of course. But it's warmer. <laughs> After the dunes, Crocodile Dundee Baron pulled off the main highway to check out a gator farm on the side of the road. I'm going to a gator farm. Says they got rattlers and gators and all kinds of good stuff in here, so see if we can get some gator jerky and I don't know what else. Twelve seconds later. What a racket. How much was it? Twenty bucks a person to go see some, you know, ancient reptiles just laying around at a geothermal well. With another awesome afternoon in the books with Hunter and Sarah, we arrived oh, back dude. at camp and spent the evening catching up and hanging out in the warm scamp. The next morning, we cooked up some thick bacon Hunter and Sarah brought from Breckenridge. In the bacon grease, we cooked some broccoli and kale and topped that with sriracha and coconut aminos. Coconut aminos taste just like soy sauce, but with no soy. We also cooked up a pot of red potatoes, sweet potatoes, and green beans for one of the best breakfasts we've ever had. Camp agreed. We've been snacking all morning. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I've eaten lemon snap cookies, a mini bagel, an apple, <laughs> a beer and a half. This is the best. Mm -hmm. The broccoli and kale and the coconut aminos and sriracha. So good. After breakfast, we drove to the hot springs, but we couldn't film there because it was a clothing optional resort. So here's some footage of the wild dust storm we drove through the next day as we moved the scamp to a new location in the Arkansas River Valley. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you'd like to stay up to date on our travels, thoughts, and photos, find us on Instagram and check out our websites. See you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Bye.